Hello, my name is Maria Balaska, and in this video we are going to talk about how yoga can help psychological resilience for parents. I am a school teacher in my real life. I practice yoga since 2011, and I am a certificated kids yoga instructor. I have attended several seminars and um, workshops uh, in yoga, and it helped me in several aspects in my life practicing yoga and meditation. But first of all, let's talk about uh, what is yoga. Yoga is a 3,000-year-old year, three tradition and means union, uh, balancing mind, body, and breath. Many people in our days identify yoga only with the asana, the physical practice of yoga. But of course, the traditional um, yoga is more than just practicing and posing, uh, practicing asanas and posing those weird uh, uh, poses. The Eightfold uh, Path to Awareness and, en and un Enlightenment are steps and guidelines on how to live a meaningful and pur purposeful life, directing attention towards one's health and self-discipline, but also acknowledging the spiritual aspects of our nature. In the Western world, the most common aspects of yoga practiced are the physical postures, the breathing techniques, pranayama, and meditation. Of course, researches has proved that regular practice of yoga asanas promotes physical strength, endurance, and flexibility, while pranayama practice calms the mind, helping to focus, uh, develop a greater awareness, and of course, diminish uh, anxiety. A few things about uh, the eight path, uh, the eightfold uh, path of yoga, the eight limbs of yoga. The two first are the yamas and niyamas. Yamas and niyamas are some rules, let's say, that one who practices uh, traditional yoga and not only traditional yoga uh, has to follow. Like uh, one uh, yama is um, not non-violence. Non-violence against yourself or others or uh, animals or plants or whatever. Uh, niyama has more to do with self-discipline and spiritual observances. Of course, asanas are the poses uh, that you may all have seen. Pranayama are techniques to master the breath. Pratyahara is the conscious effort we make to draw our awareness away from the external world and outside stimuli. Dharana is the step where we learn how to slow down the thinking process by concentrating on a single mental um, object. Dhyana, which is the meditation, and Samadhi, the uh, state of ecstasy. In the following uh, slide, I have gathered some quotes that helped my own path during uh, uh, this uh, yoga um, uh, journey that helped me maintain, that helped me um, change uh, uh, my life uh, in many aspects. The aim of yoga is to learn how to love and laugh, not to gain samandhi. Real spiritual life means to be the best version of ourselves. Because as you may have seen, uh, the eight limbs of yoga are a little bit difficult. They have a very difficult structure. Uh, and uh, we, may get, uh, we may get afraid of practicing yoga because all these big things that we may have to do to, and, we, and uh, to set the goal to gain some money and stuff like that. But the real, uh, the real aim of yoga is just to make our, our life better. And we can make our life better by becoming our best version. Uh, the only thing that you need is a mat and uh, to practice. Practice and all is coming. And this is one of my favorite quotes because this is true. This is something that I have felt during my uh, journey in uh, yoga path and uh, what I have seen uh, from other yoga practitioners. Uh, yoga, yoga practitioners that had uh, big car accidents or people that were too fat and they felt that uh, they cannot uh, attend uh, a yoga class, but practice, but they were, they were consistently practicing and they gained 
they, they ruled their body and they gained their life back. Uh, so practice and all is coming is one of my favorite quotes. You don't need to be flexible to do yoga. This is a myth. You do yoga to become flexible, not only in body, but mostly in mind. What your body can reach is your yoga. Uh, whatever the position you reach in an asana, this is your yoga. You have the, the same benefit as a practitioner who does the full pose of asana. Uh, in uh, yoga asanas, we use our body and breath because everybody has a body and everybody has a breath. And uh, those are tools that we can use to calm our mind and connect with our inner self. And of course, yoga asanas may be real challenging sometimes, but what you learn in is uh, while being in difficult position is to still breathe and smile. This is a strong practice you bring to life. That's why it is called yoga practice, because it practices, it practices you to confront with all life challenges. Now, how does yoga relate to resilience? Resilience is the ability to adapt positively to stress and difficult circumstances. That means that resilience is a skill. And since something is a skill, it means that with practice, I can obtain it. It is a condition that one can choose and can cultivate in can cultivate using several tools. We suggest yoga and meditation as the tools to lead you to resilience because asanas release tension in various muscles throughout our body, sending a message at the same time to our brain that it is okay to relax and surrender. That gives you a mental clarity. And yoga teaches our brain to be flexible. This is very, very uh, important if you realize it and very important when you feel it. Um, it helps you to embrace the uncertainty that parent, parenting, let's say, gives you. Uh, rather than fighting it, uh, rather than fighting every challenging uh, moment uh, with your child uh, or uh, by pe being a parent, it can help you relax and get comfortable with being uncomfortable, first of all, and then um, to help you uh, solve any issues. Building resilience is an act of self-care. Following to that, I have to say that yoga and meditation can cultivate powerful tools, instinct, understanding, gratitude, and love. Parenting is something is a very, very challenging situation because as adults, we have to change the whole routine we had established as adults. But at the same time, being a parent is the most natural thing, like our breath. Yoga can help us destroy our ego, can help us learn how to go with the flow and cultivate love. And whatever the problem, love is the answer. When it comes to yoga asanas, there is a very important fact, alignment. Alignment in yoga are the adjustments that we have to do to our body, in our body, in order to get into the asana, first of all, for our own uh, safety. And then, in order to enjoy the benefits of yoga in body and mind, without alignment, you are just posing. You are not practicing yoga. You are just spending your time. So for me, and I will be rather dogmatic to that, is that when you have to, when you want to start uh, the yoga journey, you need to find a qualified yoga instructor. It's much more preferable um, to lead you in the right path. And then you can practice alone. It took me several years to start practicing all alone to feel confident enough because I realized from the first uh, moment that uh, uh, yoga can benefit me a lot, but I need uh, somebody who knows to practice that to uh, help me learn it. So alignment uh, is very important. Here you can see 
uh, some alignment uh, principles that have to do, uh, there are five steps and they have to do with uh, every breath we take and uh, what steps to follow. Um, in this picture, you can see how alignment principles apply to every yoga asana. Uh, and uh, here we have a down dog. In the first picture is someone who is practicing yoga, who is aligned. And in the second picture, he's just posing. He's not uh, following the alignment uh, principles uh, to open the body and to put the body parts in the right position. In this picture, you can see the perfect down dog. Uh, first of all, you have to take care of your base, your hands. You see in the first picture here, we have a very bad um, base. Uh, not the whole hand is all on the floor. And this, first of all, will destroy your wrists. So first of all, we have to create a grounded position in our hands, which means that our hands are grabbing the ground. They are, they are working all the time. Actually, the whole body is working all the time. Uh, all the parts, even your little finger is working. Uh, sometimes when you see a yoga pose, you think that uh, the practitioner is just sitting over there doing nothing, but he does a lot of work uh, and you get really sweaty and uh, you feel uh, the changes in your body. That's why I tell you in this uh, last picture that those, this is, looks like a down dog, but in the first picture we have a down dog. You can see the difference. And since you can see the difference, you can realize, you can realize the um, different benefits. So thank you all for attending this video. I hope you I hope you follow your own path to this uh, yoga journey. Always take care of yourself and um, be careful <laughs> all the time and uh, stay calm and cool. You are all good parents because only because you are looking for good things to do uh, to become better. That makes you, I think, uh, a good parent a lot. See you soon. Kisses from Greece.